All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I am bringing you a movie about a super pig that oddly does not contain any Donald Trump but says a lot about American politics. Ouija. O-K-J-A, -A, I think. Oh, okay, how's it? O-K-J-A, yes. Ouija. Sounds like somebody's... It's Korean, I believe. Um... Yeah, this is a Netflix movie. I believe it's only available on Netflix or perhaps Amazon Prime or DVD. But if you have Netflix, this is a good little film. It's not, oh my god, wonderful. And what it is, is that there is a um, super pig creature that members of these super pig creatures have been given to local and rural farmers to, to raise in the manner of, of their choosing to create the super pig critters that are supposed to be the greatest super pig critters ever and revolutionize the meatpacking industry and of course somebody falls in love with their pig and doesn't want their pig to to get eaten yes okay this being a foreign film i was really surprised at just how much it was a biting satire of modern american life i mean tilda swinton the world's sexiest stick is in this movie as two separate characters, a pair of twins, and they're evil CEOs. And each one of them is evil in their own unique and incredibly horrible way. Tilda Swinton, however, is not terribly sexy in this. So if you're hoping to, to see, really there are no characters that are terribly, there's no character I can point to say, yes, this character was totally sexy to me, and I watched the movie for that reason. So if you're a 14-year-old boy, and you're looking for um, something to think about before you go to bed, Just this is not the movie for you, just to be clear. If you want to think about Tilda Swinton being hot, you need to go watch that movie she was in with Keanu Reeves and, and, and go, go deal with that. But yes, otherwise, this movie is, like I say, it talks about the meatpacking industry, shows us a device for sampling meat from a creature that is alive. It's like, yes, they take this thing and they pop it against the skin, and they extract a piece of meat, and they fry it up, and you could be eating it and looking at it. You can be eating it and go pet it. It's just really creepy. And it shows you a lot of the killing floor. There's not a lot of blood in this movie, but you do feel for these uh, super pigs. They're very um, humanized, I guess you would say, or I guess sympathetic characters. Um... Jake Gyllenhaal is in this movie, and I don't even want to say what character he plays, because I did not know it was him. I mean, there was just one scene where I saw Jake Gyllenhaal's blue eyes looking at me from, from across the way there, and I'm like, holy, that's Jake Gyllenhaal! I have never seen him perform this way. It is a masterful performance. I absolutely loved it. He was a very uh, strong character, a very wild character. Absolutely loved him. I've, I've never seen him do work as good as this. Jake Gyllenhaal is absolutely wonderful in this. Paul Noah, I believe, is it? I, I have it written down. Yes. No, Paul Dano, who you will remember from Swiss Army Man, plays a major character in this. I cannot say this is a stretch for Dano. He's playing a straight character. I, have, I enjoyed his performance. It stood out to me because he is who he is, I'm afraid. I've kind of, I mean, I really love Swiss Army Man. I enjoyed it so much. I look at that guy, I'm always going to remember his nose. He has a very distinctive nose. I mean, seriously, I just that's what it is. But further beyond that, it talked about just how much we as Americans love meat, and we don't realize how strange that is compared to the rest of the world. And, and further, uh, there was a lot of biting commentary. I mean, they show police officers in this movie, and these police officers don't even have badges on. They're in the wrong colors. They're in military garb, and they're beating down people who are already on the ground. This is a movie that shows Americans, like me and you, you and I, uh, what the rest of the world kind of thinks of us, what the, what the free Koreans think of us, that we're super pigs, really. And I think this movie may have been conceived before Donald Trump, so th don't, don't think that this is that political, but it is a movie that talks about how, here, here it is, we're supposed to be a free nation, and we have police beating down protesters. This is a movie, it is, it is a movie that takes a mirror to America. 
It is a movie where you realize just how horrible things have become in our country. Just how backward we've slid. So I would say if you're an American, you need to watch this movie. Just, if you have Netflix, it's free already. It's a good little movie. It's not going to be like, oh my god. If you can enjoy it for the politics discussed and the satirization of both the meatpacking industry and tree huggers. I mean, I don't know what better to call them. I wouldn't say PETA specifically, but there's a person who won't eat anything because he feels all food production is exploitation. So yeah, I mean, there is that. It's a very, it's a very quirky movie. I don't laugh at a lot. I don't know if I even laughed out loud once during this film, but I did enjoy it. So, like I say, I cannot pronounce the name. It sounds like a Ouija board, but I recommend it. Two thumbs up.